Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to another Sunday haul. So I'm keeping everything just really super casual this week. It's been a crazy week and I think I'm actually going to have to split this video into two parts because the first part is already long enough and I have so many holiday gift sets that have been coming in to open up and I just figured if I did that on this video it would be like over an hour long. So I'm going to split that one into a second part especially because a lot of it I can actually give away to you guys and I've been planning so many giveaways for 50k so I think I'm just going to make Maybe like Monday or Tuesday do a second video unbox a whole bunch of holiday stuff and also do a bunch of giveaways so definitely stay tuned for that and let's go ahead and see what I got this week hey guys it's Tuesday evening I just got a whole bunch of mail in yesterday was the Veterans Day holiday so there was no mail so a whole bunch of things just kind of came in at once and also I grabbed this wet and wild palette at Walgreens earlier today and um, I also got my boxy charm something from Kaleidos makeup also something from Beauty Creations so let's go ahead and open it all up so first, why don't we go ahead and start with BoxyCharm. So this is everything that came in the box. It's a $21 a month box, and I think it's always a really good value because you get full-size products. It's not like little samples, like you get an Ipsy and stuff like that. So I do think BoxyCharm's a really good deal. I have been thinking about canceling it for a long time now, but I just never think to do it before the next billing cycle. And it's not that the boxes are bad, it's just that a lot of times things come in that I can't really use or that I probably won't or it's stuff that I already have anyway. I just think for me it's sometimes a waste of money because I do get a lot of makeup in PR and I'm buying things for my channel and it's just more stuff that, you know, I'm not able to choose myself so there's a good chance that there's maybe some things that I wouldn't like. But that being said, I am really happy with this month's box. So the first thing that you're getting is this brush set right here. This is actually BoxyCharm's brush brand and it says that this this retails for $35 and it has a large multi-purpose powder brush these are very heavy by the way I think they're beautiful looking as well they just feel so luxurious and high-end I'm very impressed with how these feel obviously haven't used them yet but it feels just so velvety and super soft it's a very dense brush it says it's perfect for liquids creams powders or mineral products and the other one is an oval foundation brush and the description says that these are supposed to be um, handcrafted synthetic and cruelty free as well as ultra soft so they actually do feel really really nice I'm kind of curious to see what else they have in their collection um, another thing they sent was skincare which I don't often see in BoxyCharm but this is Juice Beauty's stem cellular anti-wrinkle eye treatment and this retails for let me just look at the sheet $50 so it's actually a pretty expensive product I have heard a lot of people talk about this a lot of people really like it it says it has fruit stem cells and vitamin C infused into certified organic antioxidant rich botanical juices works to reduce the appearance of dark circles and fine lines around the eyes for lasting advanced age defying results so just pump a little here's what the applicator looks like So it has sort of a gel-like feel, but it's um, not like a watery gel. It feels more like a cushiony kind of a gel. So I think it's going to be really nice on my dry skin. It feels more hydrating than like one of those watery type gels. So I'm very excited to try this. It's something that I've had on my list to try for a really long time, just from several different recommendations, and I never did. So that's a good one. Another thing they sent over is one of Dose of Colors Liquid Matte Lipstick, and this is in the shade Flirty. This retails for $18, and this color looks really pretty right up my alley. I've never tried their matte liquid lipstick formula, but I've heard really good things about it. I have a bunch of their glosses, and I really like those, so let's just see what this color looks like. Yeah, this feels very uh, velvety. So I feel like the formula might be okay. Um, again, not something that I normally wear, but if I'm going somewhere where I want my lipstick to last, uh, this is just really beautiful. So I will at some point get use out of that. Next are these two masks from a brand called Vitamask. It says the MSRP is $12. You have a morning goggle eye mask to brighten and protect. It has silver, caffeine, algae, and pumpkin and pomegranate. And then the evening goggle eye mask is repair and relax, made with copper, amino acids, hyaluronic acid, and centella. So that's definitely a brand I haven't tried before, but I will definitely use these. And last but not least is the Celestial Thunder eyeshadow palette from Dominique Cosmetics. I was thinking about getting her larger Celestial palette, so I was so excited to see this because I haven't purchased it. And the main reason was just because I don't normally wear a lot of bright colors, so I didn't want to spend all that money on a full-size palette. But this is just like a mini version of it. It's so cute. It's actually not even that mini. It's a pretty decent-sized palette. This 
this retails for $35. I believe her regular palettes are somewhere in like the 40 something dollar range. So let's go ahead and just do some swatches of this one. All right, so formula feels really nice, feels just like her other palettes. Um, these mattes are just so velvety and soft, and then the shimmer shades also are just really buttery, really pigmented. So anyway, I would love to hear from you guys down below if you have the full size, if you got this one in your BoxyCharm as well, and just what your thoughts are on it. Okay, so just popping back on here quickly to say that these shades that are in this one are the exact same shades with the same names that are in the full-size palette. I just went ahead and looked on the Sephora website, so basically we're just missing four shades out of the full-size ones. So in case you're not subscribed to BoxyCharm, because I think this one is a BoxyCharm exclusive, so you can't buy this particular one anywhere, if you like these colors, these are in the full-size one as well, plus four more. All right, guys, so next up we have the Zoeva Precious Eyeshadow Palette. I love little palettes lately, so I'm really excited that they decided to do one. So this one has six shades in it, and here's what it looks like inside. I already snuck a peek. It is so beautiful. <laughs> if you love, like, these soft, rosy purple shades, it's just gorgeous. So this is going to be launching on their website November 12th, which is in a couple days, but by the time you see this video, it'll already be online. I don't know if or when it's going to be at Ulta because they didn't mention that it would be, but it is a limited edition. It's going to be $22 US. So uh, let's go ahead and swatch this because I'm dying to see what these colors look like. All right, so let's do the first three shades, top row. A little bit of fallout there. All right, and then the last three are all shimmer shades. Oh my gosh, that purple is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, this one too. I mean, they're all super gorgeous colors. This is probably the only one that I would be able to use on my skin tone as a transition. I could probably put this one like in the outer corner and then kind of smoke it back towards the crease and maybe kind of, you know, just make it a little bit softer because that shade is a little too dark for me to put in my crease. But oh my gosh, these shades just for the lid are so stunning so very very excited to play with this palette if you guys would like to see um, a review or you know just some looks with it let me know down in the comments below next we have the wet n wild color icon 32 pan eyeshadow palette this was fifteen dollars i think i mentioned i got it at walgreens but it's also available on their website um, and what i'm really curious about with this one is just if the formula is the same as their smaller 10 pan palettes i really do like those but sometimes holiday palettes you know they're not the greatest in quality or they don't match up to the original so uh, let's go ahead and just swatch this one out and see how it is And then there's the second half. So this one's like a little bit more on the deeper, richer side. And then the first two rows were a little bit more bright and colorful. But overall, just a really nice palette. You get such a good variety of colors in here as well. So as always, if you want to see a video on this, a review and some looks, definitely let me know down below. Next up, I got a box from an indie brand called Kaleidos. I did show some of their eyeshadow palettes in a haul. I believe it was back over the summer, but they sent me some new stuff. So it says, you're now entering the future of makeup. Please prepare for arrival. I always love, like, they kind of have a little, like, sci-fi vibe to them. I love sci-fi stuff. I'm a little bit of a nerd. So anyway, um, it says, mission objectives, achieve maximum unique color combination, seamless blending, and high pigmentation. Have fun and be yourself. So first up, we have a brush case and some brushes. I didn't even know that they made brushes so that's really cool let's see what they feel like 
All right, so it looks like we have some eyeshadow brushes, basically a whole set. I'm not sure how much these are, so I'm going to have to either put that up on the screen or I'll put everything down in the description box below as well. This looks like a really nice highlighter brush. These feel super duper soft, so excited to test these out as well. And then these are the highlighters, so um, their packaging is always amazing, so I can't wait to see what these look like. This one's called Skywalker. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? It kind of has almost like a rubberized finish on the outside, and then this is all raised right here. I don't know if you can kind of tell on camera, but how amazing is this packaging right here? Let's take a look inside. All right, so there's the actual highlighter. So anyway, why don't I just go ahead and open all these up and then we'll do some swatching. All right, so everything's unboxed. And one thing I noticed on the back of these highlighters is that some of them have a G and then the number while other ones have an N and then the number. So I'm not sure what that stands for. I don't know if I'm just being like totally dense and it's something really obvious, but um, I'm not quite sure what the G and the N mean. But anyway, I guess I'll just go through them like in groups. So I'll start with the G's. So this one is Skywalker and on the box, it says that this is an incandescent aqua blue with ultraviolet undertones. Step up your highlighter game and reach for the sky with this stellar blue shine. So here's what this one looks like. All right, so let's go ahead and, oh my goodness, look at that. <gasps> okay, ready? Wow, that is so gorgeous. Like I'm not a highlighter person, but holy cow. I wonder if you could use these on your eyes because that is stunning. All right, so then we have G2, which is Laser Glazer. This says, a piercingly bright green infused with rose gold. Don't be afraid. Let this brilliant emerald ray beam you up to another dimension. This one sounds like it's going to be amazing. So here's what that one looks like. So let's go ahead and, oh my gosh, these are so pretty, you guys. All right, ready? Wow, these colors. Oh my goodness. All right, and then number G3 is Space Age. So this one says, a sleek and radiant satin gold cast away and drift through a sea of stars with this smooth sailing shimmer. So here's what that one looks like. It looks really white in the pan, but I can definitely see some gold in there too. Oh my gosh, yep, look at that. All right, let's swatch it. Wow. All right, so next we have N1 Space Age, and this one says, a silky fluorescent fuchsia with a peach veneer. Shower your senses with this comic burst of berry stardust. This one sounds like it's going to be really pretty, too. All right, so there's that definitely has a berry tone to it. So this one's like a little bit more on the subtle side. It's not as metallic as these ones, but I actually love sort of subtle highlighters like that. It's more of almost like a satiny finish. That's really pretty. All right, so N2 is Star Surfer. This one says a smooth rosy champagne with silver undertones. Ride a wave of creamy starlight every time you dip into this heavenly shimmer. Okay, so this one. That one looks more metallic again, and it has just the slightest hint of like pink in it. All right, and then N3 is Ray Rider. This one says a velvety golden champagne with a trace of peach, cruise through gilded galaxies and carve through solar flares on this lustrous golden ray. So here's what that one looks like up close. All right, so this one definitely has some sheen to it as well. I would say this one is probably the closest to like a traditional highlighter shade. It's really beautiful. So, you know, if you don't like wearing the colors, I think I would probably go with this one or maybe this one if you're really fair or even this pink one I think is really pretty. It's just like very subtle. So again, not a big highlight person myself, but I just think these are absolutely gorgeous. And I think if these are eye safe, I'm gonna look into that. If they are, I'm definitely gonna wear these as shadows because they are just stunning. Next up, we have the Beauty Creations Mini Pro Palette. So this is the entire box. The box costs $45, but each palette individually is available on their website for $12 each. So I just figured I'd go through all of these, do a little bit of live swatching so we can see what the formula is like. So uh, let's go ahead and open these up. 
All right, so each palette comes with its own sleeve, and then these are what they look like. It actually is a really nice package. I think they did a great job with these. They feel really solid and a little bit more high-end than some of their other palettes, which is really nice. And these are actually quite a bit larger than um, I thought they were going to be based on the photos on Instagram that I saw. And plus just the name Mini Pro, I was thinking they were going to be, you know, like a little bit smaller. But this is actually a really nice size. So these are cruelty free. They are made in China, just in case you guys were wondering. Um, so let's open this one up first. This is volume one. So this one is definitely more of a warm tone palette. Looks a little bit like Natasha Denona's Sunset palette. And then we have volume two. This one has kind of more earthy tones to it. Really pretty as well. Volume three is mostly neutrals with a couple of pops of blue. And then you also have this matte plum shade down here on the bottom. And then volume four has all of those really pretty pinks and purples in it. I don't know necessarily how much use I think I would get out of this one just because I don't really wear pink on my eyes too much, but there are some really beautiful colors in here. Like this blue right here I think is gorgeous. This purple as well. I feel like this is gonna be a really nice transition color. So I may dip into this one for certain shades, but I'm kind of thinking I'm probably gonna stay away from the pinks for the most part. Okay, so let's just go ahead and swatch a couple shades from volume one. I just want to see what the quality's like. So start out with some of the shimmer shades first. All right, and then let's go ahead and try some of these matte shades out. Wow. Oh my gosh, these actually swatch beautifully. Really nice. Okay, they definitely have my attention so far. I haven't tried a Beauty Creations palette in quite a long time. So yeah, very impressed so far, at least with swatches. All right, so let's do the same thing with volume two. I'm dying to see what this green and blue look like. And also, um, oh boy, I don't know which one to pick. I'm kind of attracted to this one, but I also want to see that gold as well. All right, let's check it out. This one's swatching beautifully as well. Oh my gosh, look at that. All right, I'm gonna try this gold one and then we'll do a couple of matte shades, like maybe just this one and this red over here. Oh my gosh, that gold is like the perfect like burnt gold shade. There's that one and then the red. Yeah, I mean, these swatch really, really nicely. I'm very curious to see how they actually apply to the eyes. All right, and then next up, volume three. I definitely want to check out these blues and see what these are like. Do this one. Let's try this one, sea salt. That one looks kind of interesting. Oh my goodness, that is so gorgeous. <gasps> Look at this copper. Yeah, the sea salt shade is like a little bit chunkier again, but still really gorgeous as well. That would be like a perfect inner corner highlight shade. Just beautiful. All right, I also want to try this gold star and then this blue down here. This one's kind of like a satiny shade. It's not matte, but it's not shimmer either. And then this one is a matte, so let's see how that one does. And then this one. All right, and then volume four. I really wanna see what this blue looks like swatched. Also this one, Naturally Blonde. Oh my gosh, those look so gorgeous. I would get this palette just for these two shades because they're so amazing. Um, but let's see, how about this one? Ms. Bossy, that's funny. Actually, okay, so this one, it looks really chunky and metallic in the pan, but when you swirl your finger into it, it actually looks more of like a satiny finish. It's very smooth, so let's check them out. <gasps> that is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, that one is too. Yeah, that's definitely more of like that satiny finish. It's not quite as like, not shimmery, but as metallic as those two. I also really want to see how these purple shades do because purples can be very hard to formulate. And let's try this hot pink just to see. Okay, 
That one went on pretty well. That's actually a really nice dark purple. Wow. And then this hot pink. All right, guys. So, so far, I'm actually really impressed with the way these palettes are swatching. Um, so if you'd like to see a full review on these, maybe a look using each palette, let me know down in the comments below. Hey guys, it's Wednesday. I just got my order from Lights Lacquer. This is Kathleen Light's nail polish line. She um, doesn't have kale polish anymore. I guess there was something, a dispute with her business partner. She just wanted to go out on her own. Um, so I'm so excited because I loved that formula so much and this is going to be amazing. I just know it. So here's just a close-up look at all of the colors. I just bought the entire bundle because I thought all these colors look so pretty. Um, so I can definitely let you guys know in a future update what the formula is like on them because because, like I said her last one was so good it was super opaque and only like one or two coats depending on the color it was also very long lasting and chip resistant so I just I love them so I can't wait to give these a try Hey guys, it's Thursday. I just got the mail and I got the new ColourPop Frozen 2 collection. I always love when they collab with Disney. I loved the Princess palette and that whole collection was just so beautiful. And I saw these teased on Instagram already. Trend Mood was showing it. It looks so beautiful. So I can't wait to open these up and take a look. Um, the card says that in each one there is a press powder palette, also a luxe lipstick, a glitterly obsessed glitter gel, and then an ultra glossy lip. So let's go ahead and start with Anna first. All right, so inside, let's take a quick look at the palette first. So this one does have one of the pressed glitters in it. I know some of you guys are going to be disappointed because you don't like those. At least there's only one, and I do really, really love the other colors in this palette, so I kind of don't mind it that much. If I don't use one shade, it's not the end of the world, but these just look absolutely gorgeous. Cannot wait to swatch this and play with it. Um, so that's that. Then the Glitterly Obsessed Gel is just a really pretty golden color. This is in the shade Waterfall. So I'm gonna open all of this up and swatch it for you guys as well. And then there's a Luxe lipstick. This is called Going North and it's in the cream finish. This looks like such a gorgeous color as well. Trying to get it to focus, there we go. Yeah, that looks stunning. And then the Ultra Glossy Lip. I love this formula as well. It just looks like a really beautiful nude. So that's the Anna collection. And then for Elsa, I have a feeling this one's going to be really cool tone based on some of the photos that I saw. So here's the Elsa palette. Yeah, this is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. I don't know why I thought there was more blue in it, but I'm actually glad there's not. I don't wear blue all that much. But you have kind of these deeper burgundy shades. The silver looks amazing. Kind of a dusty lavender purple. You do have the pressed glitter in the center again, but... That's the only one. So this blue is also really pretty and kind of unique. I don't know that I have much like this in my collection. And you have a couple of neutrals. So that's the palette. And then the Glitterly Obsessed is more of like a silver and blue glitter. This is called the Dark Sea. Then for the Luxe Lipstick, it's called Little Snow. And this is also a cream finish. So this one is more pink, while the Anna one was a little bit more like peachy on the nude side, I would say. And then the Ultra Glossy Lip is in the shade Mythic Journey. This looks white in the tube, but I'm guessing it probably goes on clear with just like some iridescence to it. But um, let's go ahead and just swatch everything. So that does it for this week's edition of New Makeup Sunday. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to let me know down in the comments below what products you would like to see me do full reviews on so I can start putting those together. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.